Welcome to Easy Music Center. Uh, my name is Centric. Um, I, I'll be covering hip hop style beat making, and the machines I'm using are the Akai MPC 2000 XL and the Akai MPC 500. And I'm just going to be just going to play some beats and go over some basics. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a demo on the 2000 XL, and I'm going to cover, I'm going to showcase a beat and then go over the anatomy of a beat and then um, <clears throat> like open for questions. I'm going to cover sequence structure, uh, drums and samples, how to create a sequence, and then uh, get into the MPC 500. Uh, on that, I'm going to go over a uh, loop and uh, drum break sequencing and layering, uh, sequence mixing with loops and breaks. Um, I might even showcase a, a beat on this too and go over the anatomy of that beat. <clears throat> and then uh, depending on time, I'll, I'll go over some beat sets back on the XL and anatomy of, of, of the beat set and then do get into some live drum and sample triggering and mixing. And, uh, and Q&A after that. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So I'm just going to play a beat, and then I'll, I'll, I'll go over the anatomy of how I made this beat. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go over the anatomy of this beat. Um, I'll start with the drums. And what I did was um, I sampled from a record player, uh, found a record, just went through some songs, picked the song, tried to find some drums, um, sampled it, uh, chopped it all up, and I programmed it and arranged it on these pads. And then tried to find whatever sounds uh, that would match with those drums. So here, I'll go over the drums uh, pad for pad. So these are the kicks. I used two different kicks. So I just alternated between the two. Um, there's another kick here, but it has an open hat uh, layered over the top. And then with some snares. So I, I created a, a snare layer. Uh, I like to layer drums because it gives the drums a unique sound instead of just having just just one sound. I have like two sounds layered over the top. So like these two snares are layered and played at the same time. Um, what else do I have? I 
small drum fill, um, hi hat, another hat, another hat. They have like four different hats, so um, so I just kind of mixed it up. And um, if I go to the drums, let's see here. So I'm gonna isolate the tracks on the sequence. So what I would do is I would I would uh, when making a sequence, I would do it step by step. Um, and um, the thing about sequencing is that it's supposed to make life easier. <laughs> and it really helps because it, it does a good amount of the hard work for you. And you can use sequencing to benefit your music and keep everything on point. So on track one, I got the hi-hat, so if you listen real quick. So that's a two bar sequence with just the hats and then track two has the snares. And then track three is the kicks. Let's see, what else do I have? So when played all together, uh, the drums sound like this. Then I used some samples. I I chopped it up and um, so I chopped it into. I, I used a zoning technique or a zoning option on this machine, and I just uh, I created my own chops. And then there's this part right here. And um, the reason why I chopped it up like that, it, it, so it'll allow me to flip it or do changes to it. So the way that I, the way that I flip this, uh, let me let me play it real quick. So the way that I change this up, uh, it's like this. So it's kind of like playing drums. So originally, the way the song was is like, and the way that I flipped it is like this. So I kind of, you know, tried to be creative with it. And um, here's some other sounds. Here's some sounds that I didn't use, but I, I um, laid it out on the pads. Um, I didn't use those, but I filtered the bass from two parts, so that part right there, I filtered the bass, and it sounds like this. So I used that as the bass line, and, and the second part, and the, that sounds like, so that's like some EQ, EQ filtering that I did uh, to be the bass line of this beat, and I just have them cutting off each other, so. So the bass line over the drums would sound like this. And that's that's basically the the anatomy of this beat and I have another sound here. So that's like a horn stab. That was like at the end of the song and I just do that in the song. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much for this beat. Uh, pretty much it. Any questions? <laughs>